expectation? Yep. What are the expectations of high corporate restructuring for short, medium, and long terms? Well, for short term, uh, immediately this year, we have to uh, reduce the uh, basically stop the bleeding, which means just reduce all the uh, root, which we made a uh, huge loss. So this year, uh, all will be completed. Uh, the example would be like the, the Madrid, the Johannesburg, Moscow, Los Angeles, uh, as an example. Uh, secondly, the medium term would be uh, strength building uh, of our own organization in order to go back and, and compete. Uh, this would take about 18 months. Uh, basically, is uh, uh, try to uh, do a better job in uh, selling, and also uh, major cost reduction in all departments. Uh, and thirdly, it would be the long term, which is after 2017, from January 2017 onwards. So uh, that would be uh, the going back to sustainable growth again. Uh, so when you expect try to return to, to be profitable again? Profitable according to the plan uh, should be starting January 2016. Uh, we should be getting about 70% of the, the uh, achievable target uh, of the reform, which should be finished within two years, which implies that uh, January 2017, we should be uh, in full force. In, in today's uh, very competitive ally industry, what, what are the major challenges? and most important assets uh, for our time? Well, um, most of our competitors are very, um, they use state-of-the-art uh, management, management science, they use the technologies, uh, they're very efficient, so uh, especially on the full service carrier like us, and on the short uh, range, we are facing with the uh, low-cost carrier is very efficient. And uh, see Thailand is facing uh, some uh, international pressures uh, like I, I, ICAO or the US uh, FAA uh, measures uh, on Thailand's aviation industry. Uh, what are the impacts on the airline's operation? Well, I would turn that into opportunity because uh, we believe uh, Thai Airways always have a very high safety standard. And uh, so as a result, we, uh, we have a project called Beyond Compliance, which means just at the compliance level, it's not good enough. So we should become the best in safety. Uh, this mission should be finished within uh, the next three months uh, in upgrade everything on, on the safety. Um, so basically, we're quite uh, our target would be uh, we should be able to allow to fly to uh, any country uh, uh, that we wish to go. Can you talk about uh, the airline's uh, business plan uh, for OC markets uh, in North America, in Asia, in Europe? Well, at the beginning, we have uh, our strategy is shrink to grow. So at the moment, uh, this year, we are shrinking. So unfortunately, we are shrinking back from the Africa and uh, America, but uh, in 2017 onward, we should be able to go back to those cities again. For European uh, or other Asian service? For European, actually, we are expanding. Uh, we are flying our flagship, the Abbas 380s, into three cities in Europe, uh, which is the London, Paris, and Frankfurt. Uh, and as well as uh, in Japan. Um, so uh, we are expanding in certain areas that uh, we are we're doing best. So thank you for your time. Welcome. Welcome.